beautiful people welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new month it is officially the month of may and may you be blessed may you be highly favored may you enjoy god's grace and may you live long enough to fulfill god's purpose for your life in jesus name amen <laughs> Agame soro di mozi ne ne ge kele. Agame soro di mozi na jagi ma. O si biri ne rogari no ti togi na. Ahi abi no ya de fufa kane ne ge kele. O mu madu bi no ane pik pere na jagi ma. Hana si mela, imela, ezimela. Hey, you guys don't know how happy I am today. There is every reason to be happy. There's every reason to be grateful. We are alive. That is a very big deal. Regardless of whatever it is that you're going through in life right now, God deemed it fit to keep you alive up until this moment. By his infinite mercies, by his loving kindness, not because you are too beautiful or because you are too smart. After all, there are other people that are more beautiful than you, that are smarter than you, but they are currently not alive. But you, you are here. You are present you're watching this video and you are just looking you don't want to join me and give glory to god <laughs> please join me okay if you are new here and you're wondering what is going on today on this channel well hello my name is precious and on the first day of every new month we gather here on this channel as a family to glorify god for our lives and to share god's word and just generally start the new month with jesus christ as our foundation so you are highly welcome to today's bible study feel free to leave your prayer requests your questions your benefits in the comment section okay all right guys we'll be singing the first two and the last two stanzas one two sing oh lord i help in ages past i hope for years to come i'll shelter from the stormy blessed and our eternal home under the shadow of your throne your saints have dwelt secure sufficient is your arm alone and our defense is shown time like an ever rolling stream bears all its sons away they fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day our god our help in ages past i hope for years to come oh be our god while troubles last and our eternal home Amen, Amen, Amen. <laughs> so Hannah arose after they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh. Now Eli the priest was sitting on the seat by the doorpost of the tabernacle of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. Then she made a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your maidservant and remember me and not forget your maidservant but we will give your maidservant a male child then i will give him to the lord all the days of his life and no razor shall come upon his head and it happened as she continued praying before the lord that eli watched her mouth now hannah spoke in her heart only her lips moved but her voice was not heard therefore eli thought she was drunk so eli said to her 
How long will you be drunk? Put your wine away from you. But Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor intoxicating drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Do not consider your maid servant a wicked woman, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief, I have spoken until now. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the Lord of Israel grant your petition which you have asked of him. And she said, Let your maid servant find favor in your sight. So the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. May God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, I have to come closer because right now we are about to have the Bible study discussion proper. And from this part of the scriptures, our Bible study topic for today is how desperate are you? Yes, you heard me right. What does it mean to be desperate? To be desperate means to have a great desire for something. okay for instance if you're living in the village and you're comfortable with living in the village you will not make any attempts to want to move to the city what for until something happens in the village that makes you uncomfortable with living in the village that is when you will now start to explore the options of moving to the city okay so in the same vein i am sure that hannah had lived with her husband elkanah and his second wife penina for the longest time and every year it was the same routine every year hannah will remember and penina will conceive and bear a child and when it is time for them to go and worship god at shiloh penina will pack all her children while hannah will go alone okay and then at the shiloh ground uh, kana will share food to penina and all her children and then penina will start mocking hannah for being barring and hannah will feel bad being the one that Elkanah loved, Elkanah will notice that his wife Hannah is feeling bad and try to console her with nice words and then give her a, a double portion of everybody else's meal. Okay? Just to make her feel better. But then she will still feel sad. But then all these years, Hannah has not been sad enough. She has not been desperate enough up until the extent that it will push her to go to God's temple and pray. Okay, all this while she'll just feel sad and then they'll just go home, she'll just let it slide. But then this particular year, she was so pained, she was filled with so much bitterness that it pushed her to God's temple for her to go and pray. Okay, she prayed, she cried, she poured out her heart up until the extent that words were not even coming out of her mouth again. And then the priest, the, te the temple priest, Eli, thought that she was drunk because of how bitter she looks because of how she was just mumbling and saying inaud inaudible things to god but then god understood eli did not understand because he was a human being he did not know how she felt he did not know how heavy her heart was but then god understood so the point of this all is to tell you that whenever you are feeling desperate whenever you're feeling sad majority of the times god already knows what your problem is God already knows how bad you're feeling. God knows what your problem is. But he's just waiting for you to open your mouth and tell him. Okay? He said in his word, in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, that you should ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. God knows your problem. But he might not give you the solution to your problem until you ask for it. So that you will be grateful when you receive a solution to your problem. Okay? God is just there waiting patiently for you to ask him so that it will be a testimony for you. When he answers your prayer, it will, you will know that, oh yeah, this is what I asked God for and he has finally done it. Talk to God. God understands. God already understood before you even told him. He was just waiting for you to tell him by yourself. Okay? God will not gossip about you to anybody. God is the only one that is the only is the best person that can give you the best solution. You can go around telling one person or telling the other person, the person will not even give you a solution. You just turn into a gossip topic. But then when you tell God, God will find ways to bring that solution to you. Okay? Most times desperation results in miracles. Yes. Until Hannah was desperate enough to go to God's temple and pray, she did not receive her son Samuel. Okay? Until she was bitter enough, until she was desperate enough and went to God's temple to pray. That was when she received Samuel as her miracle. Okay? Until that woman with the issue of blood was desperate enough to stretch and touch the hem of Jesus' garment. That was when she received her healing as her miracle okay so sometimes you have to be desperate to be able to access your miracle you have to be desperate to be able to unlock your gates of blessings 
okay and then when you feel like you're really desperate to get something you feel like you're in dire need of something there are two things that you should do from this part of the scriptures there are two things that you should do first of all you should hold god by his word god will never ever deny his word go to god tell him god you said in your word that in you said in your word in the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 7 that i should ask you for something and that you will answer me okay ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you god my father i am here in your presence now to ask please answer me please give me what i'm asking for always know god's word always study god's word so that you meditate on it you will imbibe it you will know it so that when you are facing any difficulty in life you hold god by his word god will never deny his word okay another thing that you should do is make a vow make a vow that you can redeem okay watch god come into action okay hannah made a vow that she was going to give her son to god for god's service and god blessed her with a son and she redeemed her vow whenever you make a go a vow to god in prayer be sure to, re to redeem it so that you don't incur god's wrath so i don't make god angry okay always try to redeem your vow that you've made to god so these are the three things that you need to do when you are desperately in need of something from god first of all you pray to him with humility and submission then you quote his word and hold him by his word and then you make a vow to god if it is that important to you all right so with this we have come to the end of today's bible study i hope it has been beneficial to some of you that are still watching up until this point all right guys i'd like us to say a short word of prayer and then we'll just round up and you can start your month knowing fully well that god is in control we are grateful oh lord we are grateful oh lord for all you have done for us hallelujah we are grateful oh lord in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus in the matchless name of jesus father we have come to you once again today to commit our lives unto you to commit our endeavors unto you we want to thank you for thus far you have led us we want to thank you for keeping us alive from the beginning of this year up until this fifth month of the year father you are amazing father you are awesome father we thank you we glorify your name for all that you have been doing for us for provision for protection we want to say may your name be highly exalted in the name of jesus thank god glory we want to ask oh lord if there's any way we have sinned against you knowingly or unknowingly daddy please forgive us we are only but humans made of flesh please cleanse us with your precious blood that was shed on the cross of calvary that blood that speaks better things than the blood of abel we want to ask lord that you please cleanse us with the blood of jesus please have mercy upon us and give us the grace to live according to your word in jesus name Father, we want to glorify your name for giving us the opportunity to be able to share your word today. Thank you for speaking directly to some of us here. Thank you, God, for giving us the grace to be able to share your word today on this channel. We want to say my name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Give us the grace to always realize that you, you, you are the ultimate one that can give us the, the ultimate solution to our problems. Give us the grace to always realize that whenever we are facing any difficulties in life, we should always come to you first to tender our issues because you are the only one who can help us you are the only one who can solve our problems give us the grace so Lord to know how to talk to you in prayer and to make vows that we can redeem for the, for the glory of your name and for the moving forward of your kingdom thank you of glory we want to ask Lord that you please 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 grant the wishes of all of the barren women that are watching this video right now please God god please it is a very painful experience to be barren for a long time thank god glory please have mercy have mercy upon them please forgive them of their sins please help them please answer their prayers please give them their own children give them the fruit of their womb give them their own babies give them their own bundles of joy please have mercy upon them please help them in jesus mighty name i have prayed I want to pray for those people who are sick for those people who are 
less privileged if i can go of glory please meet them at the points of their need please heal the sick ones provide for those who are less privileged please for our country nigeria please help us in this country there shall be no war there shall be no war in the country nigeria because your people are habiting in this country there shall be no war thank god glory please touch the heart of our government so that there will be peace in the country please help us in this country in jesus name i pray and for those who are disseminating your word around this your world around this world please give them the grace to stand firm for you give them the grace to stand firm for you give them the grace to always persist to always insist that they know you no matter the persecution that they're going through and bless them for us give them the strength to continue to spread your word and win more souls for your kingdom these and more we ask and know that we have been answered in jesus name we pray amen